Now on YouTube, it's me again, and we're going for episode, insert number here somewhere, of the Stance Wagon videos. Um, we've got some updates, some remapping updates, and a few little bits and bobs, and a few issues that we had, and some stuff that we've overcome, and what have you, and yeah, and some uh, further plans for the weekend. So I thought best do a little bit of an update video, and what have you, and see where we're at. Um, it's it's quite nice outside, but it's a bit windy, so I'm not sure how good the fucking sound's going to be on this video. Um, we'll just have to take it as we see it and see what happens. Um, so we're going to get me crap together, we'll go downstairs and then we'll uh, start this off properly out here. Right, I'll come outside, but the wind's a bag of dicks, so we'll have to do a little bit of talky-talking here and then I'll go out and show you some uh, modifications under the bonnet. I'll use that term lightly because uh, you know how much of a bodge artist I am. Yeah, so let me pop that first while I remember. Right, I'll do that for a minute. Right, story time. Uh, I bought this car for mate. Uh, he sorted out um, with, yeah, it's got had a new clutch, new water pump, new cam belt, um, new brakes all around. And it had 12 months of when I bought it. Um, I got it cheap because it was a mate, did me a favor. Nice one, Fat Rick, really appreciate that. Um, I was driving it around and absolutely liked it. You know what I mean? I, uh, I say liked it. I don't love it. Um, I, I, I've been driving it and it's been all good round town. Lovely fucking jubbly. You can't really fault it. Um, but then I wanted to go to the beach with the wife and kids. Thought we'd go to Skegness and that. So uh, trying to go off up the bypass. Now, obviously, I've driven it quite spiritedly. Um, but on the bypass line, I, I, I wasn't even driving fast. I was just getting up to 70 mile an hour, like legal limit, in fifth gear, just cruising like, I was on the inside lane. Bomb, math sensor fault. Car goes into limp mode, light comes on the dash, car's not right. Turns it off, turns it on, car's all good, carries on my journey. Uh, another day, similar, same, similar situation, bypass, cruising along, not going too mad. Can't, gets a light on the dash this time, no limp mode. I've got one of these code readers, it's so <sighs> just a cheap shit one. I've been keeping it in there because this one's been being a cunt. Um, yeah, so you get it, scan it, P1010, oh fuck it, I can't remember. But it's a bloody too much air in the math sense of fucking um, code. So I cleaned it, what have you, put it all back and I mean, I've got a air filter on, which I thought might have been causing a problem. And my um, painted, I said painted, it's a uh, cold air intake. So I thought, well, the the code said it was 18% too much air. So I assumed that maybe I was feeding it too much with the intake. So I removed that, same problem. Um, I thought about changing the filter, but I was like, no. I'm not changing the filter because the only thing I like about this noise is in uh, this car is the noise, um, and it was it's the only thing that was making me keep it. So I tried a new math sensor on it. Um, round town, lovely jubbly, same as normal, fucking sound. Soon as I went to go down the bypass for the wife and kids, we was going to go do the Tapo Mabi Explore, um, limp mode, fucking lights on, fucking all that bollocks. That was it. I was pissed. I was not having it. I was getting rid of the fucking car. Oh. Before that, I had an overboost code. Uh, probably two days before. But I cured that with my uh, Mr. Muscle down the intake into the turbo. Let it sit for five minutes, then start it up. You get a big diesel knock and then a big load of shit out the exhaust. Sweet as nuts since. Um, absolutely no codes, no overboost, no nothing. Right, so I was getting rid of it. And then um, I used this mapping company. He's a lad um, from Nottingham Way, uh, LJP uh, Mobile Remapping. And he's, he, any car that I got that can be remapped, I get, I get him to map it. And he's fucking awesome. Now, usually I do diesels like, so it's. Uh, like a power and an eco map as well. So you get like 35% more power, 25% more torque, plus more miles per gallon. And using these maps before on various different cars, 
they fucking definitely work they definitely go better they definitely sound better and they definitely do better on fuel and i mean this wasn't bad already right so anyway i'd i'd spoke to him earlier in the month and said that i'd maybe wanting to get a remap uh all right a few technical difficulties there me fucking batteries run out <laughs> anyway um yeah so uh my mate fucking messaged me and he said uh was you still interested in this remap i said no nah, mate i'm gonna get rid of this dog i told him why and he was like i can fix that i was like you are he says yeah um, for the same price as your map, since it's me like, and I'll get a few done with him. He says, uh, I'll come down, I'll do an EGR and a math blank. Um, so delete them codes completely from the ECU. So there's no way ever in this life it will ever have a math or an EC, uh, or a EGR fault. Um, like EGR can fail, makes no real difference. And if you are so inclined, you wanted to blank off the EGR on one of these, it's gonna set a fucking light off on the dash. Now it can't. It physically, it can't be done. So I was like, all right, all right, we'll try this. So he comes down a couple of days afterwards. Um, she ring up to her. Um, she, she drives absolutely beautiful. Um, it's going as I would expect it to have gone. I mean, it was, it's only a base model, so it's only 115 horsepower standard. So with a map, I'm probably looking about 150. Fucking middle pipe and the rear silencer gone and the air filter. I'm probably looking at 160 if I'm lucky. Um, I've also blanked off the old EGR now. Now I've deliberately done this shit as well because I just wanted to show people how easy it really is to do. All right, now some cars you can just do this without fucking it up. But as I say on these, it throws a cover. But, now, you may have seen me do this trip before, because well, I've done it to a few fucking shitters, but, uh, ta-da, yeah, I know I'm a rough cunt, right, so here's the EGR set up on this, as you can fucking see, if you don't know, that's what it is, and, um, it takes the, it recirculates the gas from the exhaust back through into the intake, but what that does is it makes it from nice dry sooty carbon inside of all this bollocks and in your throttle body and all that makes it all wet and sticky and shitty and clogs shit up, fucks shit up causes you no end of fucking problems now on a lot of cars you can get away with just getting a bit of monster tin or your chosen brand of energy drink cutting a piece the right size, loosening off a couple of bolts or allen key nuts and sliding it in behind the gasket and cranking it down tight and it should be sweet as a fucking nut now I've purposely done that rough as fuck because I'm a rough cunt but so you can actually see like what the score is Georgie does it really is that fucking easy it takes no more effort than that you don't have to fuck about just fucking get it done there you go it's my little hair filter with me cold air intake fed from the front bumper. Yeah, you might recognise that. That is an old vacuum cleaner hose. Got to be done. Got to be fucking done. Um, I suppose we need to go out for a drive, really, don't we? So we're going to chase some of the drivability. We'll have to wait till all the kids come back, get fucking sorted out, so I can chuck some in the car and get someone to fucking film and what have you. And then I suppose we'll go for a little drive and, yeah, see what scores George does. Oh, it's actually uh, a couple of days fucking later. I couldn't get nobody to film for me, and I still can't get no one to film for me. The weather's been pretty shit, um, so I'm gonna have to go and fucking do something myself. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do, because I don't know how I'm supposed to drive this, because it's manual and what have you, and record at the same time. I don't have no fancy mount for my camera. Um, yeah, so this might turn out to be a bit of a pain in the dick, but quickly because I can't do this for long because of copyright Mysterio Sony iPod unit thingy no CD player and that two and a half thousand watt twin 12s in the boot plus the Audi concert stereo uh, headphone users please uh, be warned this is going to work <laughs> 
Nah, see, I can't risk playing any more than that, so I might do some outside shots of it somewhere. And so I'm gonna go try and go somewhere where I can do some filming of it so you can hear some sound of it. And I don't sound like a knob talking to myself, I look like a weirdo sat in the street. So I'm gonna get driving somewhere and bring you back. Cheers. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to film some noise for you. I don't know if you heard that, you could hear that. There's a good old bit of turbo noise coming back through that filter, which it did already, um, which was causing me lots of math problems, which has now obviously been fixed, which is nice. So I'm happy about that now. Um, I couldn't find anywhere quiet enough to sit and do some drive-by flying, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to do some flybys, you know what I mean? But too many dodgy cunts about where I live to be able to leave a camera at the side of the road and not get fucked, so what can you do, eh? So, we just made my way back from, I've been in Fat Reach for a bit, helping them boys out, seeing uh, what they're up to. But I'm going to go home now and edit this fucking video, I suppose, put it on YouTube for you lot. Um, so, if you want any remapping done, anywhere in the Lincolnshire, Nottinghamshire, I'm assuming Yorkshire area, Leicestershire and all, because he's from Nottingham, uh, hit up LGP, uh, LJP, sorry, Mobile Remapping, um, he's on Facebook. He's a fucking sound lad, he's fucking well good at his job. And it's a family run thing. His dad does the maps, he installs them. So, you know what I mean? Keeping it in the family, lovely fucking jubbly, sweet. So, I'm gonna get off then, because I'm gonna need to change gear soon and I need this other hand. So, like, comment, subscribe, all that bollocks. If not, as usual, go and fuck yourselves. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.